HMD Global's presence in Mobile World Congress this year is once again a really special one, mainly because we are seeing all new Nokia Android devices joining the Android One program. But more interestingly, these phones have an entirely new design and upgraded hardware. They are no longer the terrible Nokia Android phones we once saw last year. If you remember how last year's Nokia 8 looked like, then you will definitely hate it once you hold the Nokia 8 Sirocco. It's a huge difference. The combination of a glass body and stainless steel frame isn't something new in smartphone design, but you'll find the phone to be very much inspired by Huawei and Samsung in many ways. You do get an incredibly slim screen bezel for a 16 by 9 aspect ratio form factor. The deep black finish on the back is just stunning. This is probably the Nokia smartphone that I look forward to own when it gets released. Despite having all that beautiful design, the hardware isn't perfect. The headphone jack is being killed and instead of using this year's Snapdragon 845, it still uses a Snapdragon 835 processor though with more RAM and storage than its predecessor. The Carl Zeiss dual camera system of the Nokia 8 Sirocco seems promising this round. It comprises of an optical stabilized wide angle 12 megapixel lens at f1.7 and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens at f2.6. However, the camera software is probably going to be a letdown for some. Even though it now comes with a pro camera mode that is found back on Lumia devices, there isn't really a lot of camera modes to play with, though you still get to shoot bodies and stream it live to Facebook and YouTube. If you think this is a replica of the Pixel 2 XL, I wouldn't blame you for that because the Nokia 7 Plus really looks like one on the front. This is the first Nokia phone to sport a 6-inch full-screen display, and it really is surprising why Nokia couldn't do away with the slimmer bezels like it did on the Nokia 8 Sirocco. But what's really attractive here is the copper-coated steel frame on the sides, which has gone through a series of adenizing and polishing during its make, and it feels extremely polished to the touch. Specs-wise, the Nokia 7 Plus comes with a Snapdragon 660 processor, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage with support for micro SD expansion. It also has a huge 3800mAh battery that should deliver a full day of usage. Like the Nokia 8 Sirocco, the Nokia 7 Plus dual camera system comprises of a 12MP wide-angle lens and a 13MP telephoto lens with the same apertures, while lacking optical image stabilization. The revamped Nokia 6 is now a much better device with a more compact and refined body. Crafted from a solid block of 6000 series aluminum, the new Nokia 6 has finally ditched the lower end Snapdragon 430 processor for a much better performing Snapdragon 630. The phone comes in two RAM and storage configurations, which is either a 3GB RAM 32GB storage variant or a 4GB RAM 64GB storage variant. Due to the slimmer screen bezels, the fingerprint scanner has been shifted to the back. The main camera has also been upgraded to a Zeiss lens that takes 16 megapixel stills at f2.0 while it supports Nokia's Ozo audio recording with two microphones. Finally, the Nokia One, a smartphone that you probably wouldn't set eyes on, but it is one you shouldn't conclude as a bad device. Remember, this is an entry-level device and by all means it looks good in terms of design. The polycarbonate back cover is also removable and can be replaced with a variety of colors. The Nokia One is obviously not a fast device, and you shouldn't expect it to be, especially when it only has a gigabyte of RAM and powered by a MediaTek quad-core chip, it is clearly meant for users who want smartphone essentials and isn't particular about performance. However, my experience with the phone's software wasn't too bad. There was an expected short delay when launching apps, but navigating around the user interface is rather smooth. HMD Global is expected to ship these phones beginning early April onwards. The Nokia 8 Sirocco will carry an average retail price of €749, Euros, while the 7 Plus and the new Nokia 6 will retail at €399 Euros and €279 Euros respectively, while the Nokia 1 will have an average price of $85. US What do you think about the new Nokia Android phones? Tell me in the comments and be sure to subscribe to KL Gadget TV for more tech videos and coverage of Mobile World Congress 2018. I'll see you soon in the very next one.